Welcome to another video of Windows Server 2016. In this video, I'm going to configure a roaming profile for Windows Server 2016. So before that, uh, we move to roaming profile. We should know what I mean by profile. A profile is actually when a user is logged onto a Windows PC. Automatically, it creates a profile for the particular user. So the profile means the folders for the user, like uh, downloads folder, documents folder, my pictures, my music, all these things. So whatever I and mean, whoever logging to the Windows PC, uh, it creates a profile for individual users, so that whatever we saved in the profiles, the other user cannot access it. So here in this domain profile, in domain environment, when a user logged onto a particular PC, a profile is created in that PC. But this person is moved on to another PC and logged in there. There is also a profile is created there. So, but uh, for example, if we saved in the previous previous uh, PC, I mean data in the previous PC, and when he moved on to another PC, he cannot access the data. So, what is the solution for this? I mean, maybe this guy, this guy logged on to many PC and uh, his data is scattered in different PC. What we can do for him? So we need to roam this same user along with this guy. So what we can do is we should save this profile in a centralized location so that whenever he logged on to any PC, he can access the profile from the centralized location. That means he get all the data from a centralized PC. So here, what am I going to do is to or save the uh, save the profile in a particular server. Like uh, here, I'm using the same Active Directory server. I mean, in the C drive, I'm going to save this profile, and uh, I need to set the I need to I need to set him set the settings for the uh, user. And then once he once he logged onto the PC, his his uh, profile will be saved in the server. And later on, when he moved on to other PC. Uh, there will be no problem accessing the data because uh, his profile is going to be some nice location. So here I'm going to the user. I mean, here I have a user. His name is Samuel, and I'm taking copies of him. And as you can see, that in, in his uh, uh, account name is Sam, and uh, when I moved on to the profile, there is nothing there listed. So I need to make this guy. His profile is a roaming pro roaming one. For that, uh, before that, uh, as I told you before, that uh, I have a profile that will be in the C drive of this uh, server. Here I'm creating a profile, folder name is profile. And I need to share this fo uh, folder because uh, because when, when this user try to make his profile in this folder, he should have the permission to write the data. So I'm just sharing the data and giving all the access to this guy. And you can also customize it uh, whenever you share the data or if it's particular user only. But here I'm using given uh, given access to all the users. You can customize it if you want. Okay, that's it for the folder. And then I'm going back to the user's profile, user's properties, and I'm going to his uh, uh, profile. And then I need to give him uh, the share path, I mean the unc path. Like uh, 198.168.1.1, that is the server, and uh, the share profile, uh, follow me is uh, profile. And then after that, uh, what I need to do is to have his name. Before that, I need to check it whether the location is okay or not. So I'm just pasting there and uh, clicking OK. So I'm merging the same folder. So it means the path is okay. So what I need to do. Next is to write his name after a slash. Or what you can do is, for example, maybe you wanted to provide a profile for multiple users. So select those users and uh, click properties. And uh, you can also give a profile, then uh, write the profile path. And then no need to write the particular username. Just type percentage username percentage. It automatically uh, came the username, user's name, individual. No problem with that. So if you have a single user, it's okay. Then click apply and okay. Then uh, what you should do is to go to a client PC and check it. So I'm moving to another PC and uh, giving the credentials of Sam. 
and uh, trying to log in. And as you can see, this guy is logging in, but it takes some multiple time to log in. And uh, and I minimized it, and uh, because I wanted to go to the profile folder and oh, see. The folder is already created, it's time, it's version 6, profile version 6 is created. And uh, what I'm going to do is now is to add a wallpaper. I mean, I'm going to change his profile settings. I mean, these settings will go along with whenever, wherever he logged in. So I have a wallpaper, wallpaper is a working ribbon, and then I'm putting this as my wallpaper by right clicking and set as uh, install. Okay, this is my wallpaper for now, and I'm logging out. I mean, this is Sam. He is logging out now, and this guy is moving to another PC. And what will happen if he logged into another PC? So when he logged out, all the settings are saved in the profile of a centralized location. Is there? But I cannot access it right now. So I'm moving to another PC. This is another PC. So before that, I need to log out from the user and uh, logging again with the SAM. So I'm putting his SAM's credential there. And this is another PC. So you can see that the profile is loading from the network, from the centralized location. Yeah, and you can see that they got the same wallpaper. So this means his uh, profile is roaming now, completely roaming now. Whenever he going to somewhere, and this guy is roaming in the, in the internally. So, but it uses some um, bandwidth. So choose it wisely. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks everyone. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.